Well, it's, it's amazing. First of all, you would forget that you're in the middle of campus. I thought quickly, are we at Hilton Head or something like this? It's fabulous. Um, really pleased with what we've done with the facility. Really great what we've done with this little plot of land. But what I love is the berms around the courts. I mean, the fans really kind of feel like they're right on top of the courts. So, and what about our fans being out here today? That was great turnout. So good, good start and hopefully we can continue that through the weekend. Obviously it shows that we've got an incredible indoor program. I mean, and, and what I understand a lot of these young women, they, they grew up playing beach volleyball. So, I mean, it's certainly nothing that's new to them, but the coaches have done an incredible job. To think that we're 10 and three, I mean, on the year, and I guess 11 and three uh, with, with this win today. I mean, what a start for the inaugural season, but they obviously are incredible athletes. They've got great techniques and it translates well to beach. I, I think that there were a lot of people who were just curious. They, uh, beach volleyball invitational? Well, let's go see. I mean, uh, there were a lot of students. I saw a lot of book bags out here today. That was funny. They clearly were coming from their classes. I also saw a lot of the other student athletes out here supporting uh, the, the beach volleyball team, and I, I love to see that. And that's our, our student athletes are amazing the way they, they give each other support. I, I'm not going to tell you that I've long been a beach volleyball fan, but certainly I'm like everybody else, especially when you see the peak of, of the Olympics, I mean, and, and the worlds and things like that, that'll catch your attention. Uh, but mainly I'm in awe. I don't think I could get out there and run across the sand two and three times, but the fact that they can play point after point, um, it just reminds me how bad of an athlete that I am. It's awesome. I mean, we've been training for this. We didn't expect to have a beach volleyball team especially the four years that I've been here, and it's awesome. It's fun to play in front of all of our friends and family, and I've had teachers that came up, and I mean, it's just awesome. It's fun to be a part of history, and this is a big deal for Arkansas and even just like Conway itself, but it's pretty great. I'll be honest, at first, I did not enjoy it because I was a setter for indoor, and it was a completely different environment, just the elements out here. I mean, being indoor, you don't have any of the sun, wind, you know. Playing the sand is obviously so much different, but um, being with the teammates that I'm with and the coach that I'm with, it's, I've fallen like head over heels in love with it and it's so much fun and I'm sad that it has to end so soon. So we have three seniors, three of us that are fifth year seniors that only have this one year of eligibility. And then I think we have four indoor players that are our hybrids, so they play indoor and beach. And then a couple that are um, transfers, so all of us together just make up the beach team. So I think just our pursuit and our want to be great for our first season. You know, we kind of wanted to surprise people, and I think that's what we're doing. It's pretty neat, it's pretty chill compared to what indoor is. Yeah. It's more intense, and indoor more like serious, and people are kind of quiet in indoor because you have to go back to the service line and focus. And out here we have like Smoothie King, we have music going, people are just like chilling on the hill back there, and it's pretty, it's laid back, it's fun. It feels great, you know, and I think what I'm more excited about is the support that was here today, you know, from all the administration to help in the setup to make this place truly look like it's you're transported. You don't feel like you're in Arkansas or on a college campus. You feel like you're like in this kind of tropical location. Um, so I can't thank our administration enough, but the crowd and the fan sport was amazing. Um, so I think that's what excited me and I think our players the most is that we had all of that at our disposal and it's hope we get the, the that same kind of turnout tomorrow. Um, you know, it's a, definitely a tribute to their work ethic and, you know, we talk about, you know, when you have an opportunity to, to take care of business, you need to take care of business because games only get harder and if we're waiting for the other team to make the mistake, then we're not being offensive and that's not going to how we're, we're going to score points. So the more we can stay in control of the match and that goes with our first contact and then our setter has to work really hard to put them in a position to control what they're doing in their offensive eye sequencing. So <laughs> it's pretty amazing not to be driving a van you know, four to seven hours away, uh, which is really nice. Um, you know, and the fact that Smoothie King is here, holy cow, giving out free samples, it's been amazing. Um, their support and just, again, everybody else's has, has been great. So hopefully the weather holds out.